Political analysts say between the two candidates, Kamala Harris had the tougher task in front of her. Jill Kuramoto explains. Kamala Harris. Up, good debate. You see, have fun. For the first time, Americans were getting to see the two leading presidential candidates side by side. It's one thing to hear them campaigning and talking about the issues. It's something else to see them together to give voters a chance to make a decision about which one they like better. I thought it was actually a pretty strong debate. Both candidates did pretty well. I think Trump had a low bar to clear. He just had to, because he's well known, he had to not sound totally insane. He needed to not sound old or confused. He needed to not sound crazy or totally misogynistic. And he stayed pretty focused and, you know, was negative on the attack as he usually is. Kamala Harris, though, I think rose to, she had a, a bigger challenge and I think she rose to that challenge. She was, she managed to deliver some real zingers to Trump in a way that sounded spontaneous and authentic. She managed to kind of speak directly to voters. She managed to be kind of like defend herself, but also present a positive vision for a fairer economy. Professor Robert Perkinson teaches social and political history at UH Manoa. He said it's hard to tell if this will change the race in any way. I think it might some. Um, clearly, Kamala Harris decided that her focus was to try to reach that sliver of, you know, four to 10 percent of voters who haven't made up their mind um, by tacking to the center. Although he, he, he did well, I think, I think his advisors would be happy with how he performed on the debate stage. Whether the debate will resonate with young voters will have to wait to be seen. Before the debate, I did an informal survey of UH students who all were undecided on who they plan to vote for. The overwhelming response, they were going to be looking at performance more than policy. I'm looking for confidence. Uh, suave, swagger, that sauce box persona. I mean, to me, when it comes for like a president for the people, I feel like it's your brand. Like, how are you displaying yourself as a person who represents our country? What are you looking for in this debate? Um, what would make a difference to you? I guess someone who is acting mature and acting like not everything is for a show. Jill Kuramoto, K212 News, working for Hawaii.